Hello and welcome back to Let's Build Bradbury College. Uh, I've been very busy since our last episode. So, last episode we did a recap of how the school's looking, and I've done a lot of building since. I mean, this is a ton of building. See, so I'm in a I'm in the right now, and I'm looking down at my handiwork, and uh, I'm puzzled. And uh, I've realized a couple of things. The first one is uh, I've realized I've used I used a uh, a different scale for the B block. That's the B block down here, and it's actually smaller. Was well, it's slightly larger than C block? I'm not sure in real life if um if C block is intentionally wider than B block. Um, I know in Minecraft the proportions are kind of weird, and that's the way I've chosen to do so. It looks about right on the floor plan. Like if you look at the uh, the school map in your school diary, it looks about right. Uh, it's just that for some reason the the science rooms I've put over here, which I will put over here. I've had to stretch them out for a bit. Now, I know I've made uh, these rooms a bit small. So I know for a fact that... Uh, actually, I could still change it. I know that B12 is quite a large room. I'm not sure how large it actually is. Let's zoom out here. I haven't put the furniture in just yet, so I'm kind of a bit lost in terms of how big the room should be. Uh, but I do know that these rooms are big. Uh, just not that big. Uh, there's a Hums office, which is very small. There's a small storage room in here, which is very small. Um, and there's this... I'm not sure what's here, to be honest. There's something in here, I just don't know what it is. Uh, that's B11, the science room. And it's... I'm pretty sure it's bigger than this. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I've made this correct. I, and then, that's it. I'm not calculating. I'm not really planning this out too far ahead. I'm just going, okay, it looks about right. So, for example, in this room, by the way, this is a fire hydrant. I'm pretty sure there's a fire hydrant or fire hose over here when you walk in the room. Um, I'm basing the, uh, again, most of my building is based on the interior of the uh, rooms, or the exterior. So the exterior looks a bit weird, but the interior looks, looks about right. So I've made the central corridor, I think, uh, six blocks. What's it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Six blocks across, which is quite large, but it is quite a spacious corridor. It's not that uh, crowded. Um, just, I, I can't quite figure out um, What's making this so what? I'm guessing it's because these rooms should be around three blocks longer. Uh, especially B12. So if I move both of these rooms down three blocks, it should feel... It should fix up these rooms. But, you know, I've built the rooms already. I'm not too fussed about them being exactly right. I mean, as long as you walk in the room and you feel it's about right, then it's okay. Uh, I'm not too stressed about it. So... I'm gonna leave these science rooms as they are. They'll feel a little long, but that's okay, I guess. I guess I'll add more space between the tables. I'm, I don't know. It should be right once I kind of make the uh, interior decorations. But I don't know. This room seems still still seems a little long. I, I'm fairly sure that there's something here, like some kind of secret room or storage cupboard or something, because I don't think you go like around the corner. And it's a science lab right away. I think there's something here, like hidden. Let's, let's block from view. I'm not sure, but uh, I think... I mean, the science room is here. I just can't figure out if it's the whole uh, width of the space. Anyway, uh, as you can see, that's, I've done quite a bit of work on B block. Uh, that's still uh, a lot to go. I mean, over here we still have the uh, general office and the uh, principal's office. Uh, and there's a mountain away, so they figure how to fix that one up. But I uh, actually don't regret building water because, uh, as you can see, the school's actually not uh, at the same level. Uh, uh, the school is actually raised. Now, I can't quite get these, the right elevation for the school because the school is kind of slanted, um, especially on, on that end of the school towards the oval. But the uh, the slanted slopes are only like one step up, and I can't really replicate the Minecraft, and I think it looks better if I just leave it as it is. So, what I've done since the last episode, uh, obviously from the, uh, the whole ship of people, I've done a lot of things. I've, um, I've re, uh, I've relayed the, uh, stonework for this side of the school, and by the way, I've made a mistake too. Um, uh, the school... If I'm facing this way, that's north in the school. So that's north. So Duke Street runs north and Berg Street runs north. And Ballarat Road runs from east to west. But uh, in the Minecraft world, I've accidentally pointed the uh, school towards the uh, the east. Which is... Um, it doesn't matter. No, no one's going to notice this at me. And that's the sun was rising above me. I'm like, hang on a moment. That's not where the sun goes in Raybrook. But uh, anyway, I've done a few small changes. Um, 
I've extended this uh this bluish bit uh slightly because um, I thought, you know, it it is more of a blue thing when they uh when they refixed it. Um, so there's something there. Um, I've start I've realized that this part of school has uh, a color as a, well has a pattern really. Um, this is like slightly reddish uh concrete part. Then there's the dark uh, asphalt and there's the light concrete and the dark asphalt surrounds the other uh, trees now um, they're pretty close together but because I've uh, stretched out the school buildings I reckon I'll put the the benches and trees a bit further out so I'll spread those out um, I have started making the windows for the B block and I've got the uh the white ledge which is kind of similar to the C block one and uh this this building oops, go it slopes upwards so there are glass windows in the middle here and the roof in the in between is a bit lower than these two uh, higher windows uh it's just it's pretty standard building uh, type for the 1960s commonwealth schools um uh, so it shouldn't be too hard to do uh, i just said again like i said i've made the rooms a bit narrower than i have for the c block so it'll be a bit hard for me to get the right shape for the slope i'm not sure of the uh i'm pretty sure the the, the ceilings are sloped as well it's much easier if i have a flat ceiling but uh i'll go the slope ceiling uh on the outside uh what i have done i have uh, included this little alcove um it's not a perfectly smooth building you go through here uh, I've, I've made the locker bays uh in case you haven't been in the past few years we now have uh outside locker bays so if they have a roller shutter which goes down i can't do the roller shutter of course but uh i've replicated the um the locker bay so there's a there's a there's a bench here and there are locker bays there are more locker bays out here i'm not sure how many there are i know, I know there are at least two i'm pretty sure there's one more uh but uh again i'm not sure if i mean these are long and what they actually are but again they're stretched out so that's what it should be i'm pretty sure i can fit one more in here so there's probably at least one more uh going back in here we do have uh there's no roof at the moment because i again i want to make the floor plan look right first after the roof later uh there's st there are stairs in here and there's a door in here so you do you can go into the b wing from this door uh, and again, there's the uh, this this is secret storage room for humanities. The hums office is over here, and then we have B11, B12 on this side. If we go down this side, we have uh, B10, yeah, B10. We have B10 in here, which is one of the uh, science labs. I haven't done these rooms just yet. Hang on, hang on. Wait, no, that's B10. B9, B9, uh, B7 is the next one. Uh, there is a uh, a lab, not a lab, but um, a storage uh, room in here for the science people uh it's not this big as far as i know but uh i'm just trying to uh, stretch out the rooms so that it fits the building that i've laid out and i think it'll look fine once i fix it up um you may notice that on the roof of the c block there are these weird uh shapes it looks pretty cool actually uh and the same thing with d block what i've done and uh, i'll demonstrate a bit later is um uh, i've actually um solved uh, my problem with lit indoor lighting so before i had this really ugly glowstones hanging around and it, it still didn't light it up so what i've chosen to do is i've punched some holes in the uh the roof uh to make a skylight now braybrook doesn't actually have skylights although it would be pretty cool if we did uh but we don't have skylights but uh for the sake of having lighting in minecraft i decided to put the uh skylights in and i've decided to put the glowstone as well so it'll look pretty good in uh at night and in day and because I've made it part of the uh, the sloping roof, it doesn't look too uh, out of place. Uh, the other benefit is that um, again I, I can uh, reshape the roof to make it look a bit better. If you go in the uh, oh that's actually not it's different. I'm gonna fix the, the water somewhere. If you go in the ceramics room, say the ceramics is very bright already, but uh, as you can see, um, I've put lots of uh, skylights and lights uh, on the roof. So I think this is the closest I can get to the. Uh, the actual lighting which the school has um without uh stuff up the lighting in minecraft okay let's go back out and i like how we've made the, that corridor now because that's an easy way out um there are i'm really that much for decoration here but let's sprint down um i've done the lighting for all the rooms i have shifted the corners of this slightly i've made it like one square narrower just to make this room slightly larger and i think again this room is smaller in minecraft than it actually is in real life so uh that's a bit of a different thing but i have re i've shuffled the uh, the furniture that's roughly what it looks like i think i think that's 
I'm not sure that's how many tables we have. I'm pretty sure there's uh, another table there somewhere, but that's close enough. And if we go here, um, you notice that I have got um, the toilet block. So there's a step here, which I can't, I could, I could put like a slab, like this size, but I don't know, I don't think it's worth it. It's not that, um, honestly, it's not that high up. It's not like half a, <laughs> a few centimeters high. Anyway, we step up. Um, the toilet's under here, just the toilet's kind of a swamp, which is kind of what it looks like in real life anyway. Um, I have the taps over here, <laughs> so I've got these little uh, hopper things, there, there are taps. Um, there are vending machines, which I haven't put on here yet, I'll, I'll leave it to later. Um, I have put the uh, the bars up, there is a, a lockable gate, but uh, I didn't put the door in because uh, I, you know, it's just too much effort. But uh, this is what it looks like for most of us when we walk to school during daytime. And uh, this is what it actually looks like. It's pretty dark and shadowy. I did decide to put torches just to uh, have the ambient light. It is too dark if I just leave out torches. And it, there is no skylight, so I didn't want to put a skylight in. Um, so it's a pretty nice experience. And this is a girl's toilet, which is, uh, again, um, kind of prettier. Uh, it looks alright if we, if we kind of go on this side. Uh, we have the other side of uh, B block, which is still under construction, very much so. And uh, A wing is over there, which hasn't been built yet, so I'll get around to that one day. So I like the, uh, the atmosphere. I think uh, I've captured this feeling, but right, you walk in, this is a toilet block, and you have the stairs leading up to B block, and you go through here, and that's what it actually feels like. And there's a room over here. And again, I'm pretty sure this is a lot shorter than what it is in real life, but now eh, close enough. I'm not I'm not going to change it now. And with the science lab, we have the uh, the workbenches over here. We have the uh, the benches over this side. It is um, I know the, the lab is quite narrow, uh, but there's nothing much you can do about this. Um, and of course, we have again this part is raised normally, but I didn't really want to. Um, actually, can I can I put a block here like that? Oh, no, I can't. It looks a bit silly, so uh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, so there's a step up, but uh, I can't really do anything about this, so I just decided to leave it as it is. Um, close enough. Uh, I think this is a pretty close uh, portrayal of the of B11 lab. And uh, I just want to zoom over to, as you see, my um, the, the, the C block roof looks a little different. I think it looks okay. It doesn't look like this in real life, but uh, just because I have the, uh, the extra skylight and the, sorry, and the glowstone blocks, I think this is the best I can do. It looks alright when you uh, finish the whole thing off. I've done the same thing for D block. I've punched holes in the roof to make skylights. Uh, just make more lighting. These rooms were quite well lit anyway, but uh, I just want to make sure. So I've got the glowstone lights, uh, but to make uh, the have some extra natural light, I've put the uh, the glass and skylights there. Uh, I still need to do one more room, and then, and then these rooms, being my original rooms, they're much larger than the. Um, uh, than the B block, so I think this room is wider than it should be. Uh, whereas I've used a more natural um, uh, ratio for the B block, so yeah, I think yeah, it it, it doesn't look wrong. This is the thing I like most about the uh, the Minecraft version so far. Is even though the ratios aren't perfect, it still looks alright. Looks still looks pretty close. I think I need to do one more room, so I have to. Uh, I've done D3, if I look inside, I've put skylights for the small room, and I've put skylights for the um, the big room over here, so what I have to do now is go to D2, no D1, I just, oh really, just D1, I really didn't realise that, and there's there's a the glowstones, but I need to put a skylight, so let's get some glass blocks, we'll get this glass, and uh, let's see, uh, I reckon I'll do the same as the others, so I'll punch hole next to it. There we go. There we go. And you can see, uh, just having holes in the roof uh, gives it much more natural light, which is pretty good. Uh, I like that. Uh, I don't have to put glass here, but uh, if I don't put glass, it will start raining, and I, uh, you know, it look pretty weird with water coming into the uh, the room. Uh, Beryl isn't that leaky, I know that. So uh, I might leave. Oh, oh that's uh -oh, OCD time. I've got a, a block in the wrong place. Yikes. Uh, let's uh, grab my uh, search. We'll get some glowstone. Uh, there we go. We'll get that. And we'll also get uh, more iron blocks. Uh, just to repair that hole. Uh, unless I want to put a scar, scar like there. Which, um, hmm. Hmm. No, I, think, I don't think I'll put it here. I'll put it here instead. Uh, should I put, put it on a. Uh, I'll put it on this side just to make it a little uh, symmetrical, which doesn't make any sense, but let's go with it. All right, so, oh, that's our skylight. Uh, there, we, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, so got that. We got that. 
just broke my uh, glowstone. Whoops. And, uh, wow, what is wrong with me? I got how to Minecraft. Wow. Uh, there we go. Block and glass. There we go. I know what I'm doing. And we'll punch holes in there. Yeah, okay, looking good. All right, so I've got some natural lighting inside the room. Looks all right. I think every room has a unique character now. Again, this is way too wide. And I know these rooms are a bit wider than the other rooms in, um, in Big Block, but I think this is way too wide up. You know, if, if I had to rebuild this, I would probably, um, and it's getting dark, which is fine. I would probably uh, move this across like an extra block, so kind of shrink the whole building by two blocks. Um, bear in mind that when I started this uh, Let's Build, um, I the original measurement was my office. So if I zoom back to my office over here, this is zoom. Uh, this is how I measured the size of the building. So I had this is. Again, yeah, it's bigger than practically every other office in the school. Uh, just just by design, uh, this wasn't intentional. It just simply was the fact that uh, the fact that I used these buildings, um, I used the correct number of uh, teachers' desks. Uh, this building is wider, so that's why this this block is wide. It's nighttime, which is pretty cool. You can see the what looks like a nighttime. You can see the um, the skylights and the glowstones look pretty cool. Um, actually looks really, really nice. Now, I covered up the glowstones because if I didn't, it looked like an airport, uh, so I blocked them up. But, you know, the school does look like this at night time. If you've been at, at night time, like a fright night or at the school production, the school looks pretty, uh, pretty freakish at night. Um, if you go in the rooms, uh, these rooms haven't been done yet, so I'll go back to the, uh, let's go back to, uh, this room, C8. And you can see the skylights and the glowstones have this nice, nice effect, so... Uh, it's pretty good, uh, nice ambient effect, uh, I like the, um, uh, the co this, this is looking really good, this is what it looks like uh, in real life, and I haven't done the, um, the B block just yet, but uh, it's looking alright, let's just uh, reset the time, we'll also back to about noon, 1200 I think, there we go, yay noon, yeah, so that's the progress update, um, I didn't really build too much in this episode, but uh, look forward to doing some more work, um, we, I'm gonna hopefully get get the uh, science rooms done, and then I start working on this side of the B block. Uh, it just looks weird at the moment, just because I don't really have, and the, the proportions don't look right. But you know, as long as I get it roughly right, no one's gonna complain too much. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoyed this. Let's build, and we'll see you next time.